Let me explain how this strategy works. Basically, we're looking at a top or a bottom on the chart, and we want to find two connecting tops or two connecting bottoms. So here are two bottoms. They don't need to be at the same level to the pip, but very close at the same level. And then you want a break of this level. So it's kind of a failed breakout strategy. And basically the logic behind that is when people see a breakout or they think this will be a breakout, they rush in and take short positions. But smart money reverse the position and basically just use amateurs positions to get into position and then drive price up. So what you want is a breakout level like this. So two bottoms and you want to break of that level and then in the next few candles. So either the same candle or the next candle or five after that, you want a buy signal. So on this particular strategy, you can enter right away when you get the signal. So this can happen during the candle. So inside here, you could probably have entered somewhere around here. And as soon as you enter, you place your stop loss below the lowest low. Now here's what really exciting about this strategy because we're picking bottoms and we're expecting a big move. We can use a trailing stop loss to lock in as much profit as possible because we don't know if price will reverse here or if it will reverse here or if it will reverse here or if it just will continue up. So what you want to do is click indicators and here you search for exponential and you want moving average exponential and you click that you can favorite so it's easy to get back to it and if we double click here I like to keep it white and input here you want eight. So let me explain how this trading stop loss rule works. You want to stay in a trade now for as long as price don't close below this level and then move below that low on the next candle or candles after that. So basically how you trade is you enter here when you have the fail breakout and a 10x signal and then you just trail your stop loss. You don't want to trail it just at the moving average here. When you see a large move like this, of course, you can trail some distance. But when you have the close below the exponential moving average, you want to move your trailing stop loss to that. And depending here on how aggressive you are with your trading stop loss, you can place it just below the level or give it some more distance. So I like to give it some extra distance because you often see that we just close below and then just reverse back up again. Now you see here that if you didn't get out here, you would have moved up your stop loss below this red candle here because this close below the exponential moving average. And you see that you could still be in this trade. To really show you how this strategy works, let's look at a few more examples. So we have a example here as well. We have a bottom and we have a low here again. And then we break below that and reverse up and we get a buy signal here. So you enter on the buy signal and you place your stop loss below the failed breakout low. And now you want to use the exponential moving average as a trading stop loss. So as soon as price close above this level, so for example, here you see it takes a few candles before something happened and then it starts moving up. Now you want to trade your stop loss and you see how beautiful this trading stop loss rule works. You see that we don't have a close below the moving average anywhere here. Not here as well, but we have our first close to below the moving average right here. And basically what you want to do is trail your stop loss up to that and on the next candle you're out. This is how basically you pick tops and bottoms using these signals and really lock in huge profits. We can look at one more example here and this is a top example. So you look at the high of the chart and you see that we have a top. We actually have a same thing here. So a top, a top, a signal. So you can enter on that and you see that this would have been a break even trade because we get out of the trade right here when price closes above the exponential moving average. You entered here so you would made a small profit on this trade but not that much. And we have basically here as well since this is a breakout of this level as well. But you see that we close above here and on the next candle we move above it. So still on this trade as well you made a small profit. So even though price didn't make a sharp move down you still made a small profit. And then we have this 
breakout and a sell signal. So you enter on the sell signal, price move down, price close above the moving average here, move above it, and you see that you still made a small profit here. And if we repeat the supply entry, basically you want to mark out this in the middle of that is your entry. So for this trade, your entry would be here, your stop loss, a few pips above this box, and you can use the trading stop loss for this as well. So if we look at the trading stop loss here, where would you be out? Basically, price move down, close above the exponential moving average here. But you see that price don't move above this high and it continue down. So combining these signals and using a trailing stop loss, trying to find tops and bottoms, you can really lock in huge profits. And you see, we finally have our close above here and price move above this high right here. So you could have made a very nice move here using a trailing stop loss. Now we see, if we look at this example here, what you basically want for a buy trade like this, you want a move below this level, a signal, and then take the trade up and use the trading stop loss. Let's look at one more example. So here you can see we have used the GPY and we have, when we're looking at this and we see a double bottom, we want to think that, well, since we use 10x signals, we want to find bottoms. And when we see a break below, we basically say, okay, if we get a buy signal now, we want to buy. So you get the buy signal, you can enter these buy signals as soon as they appear. So often during the candle, so you will probably be in somewhere in here and you use the exponential moving average as a trailing stop loss. And you see that you have your close below here. So your initial stop loss was below the low, but you can move that up to this level and then price come down and break below that level here. So you would have made a nice profit here as well using this technique. So when you mastered the horizontal technique like this, you can use this for trend lines as well. So if we see a top trend line like this, so a resistance and a break of that and a sell like this, you can enter on that and basically entry, you would not be stopped out here and price move down close above the exponential moving average and you're out here and then price move down again. And just to give you a quick tip here, you often see in strong moves, first impulse down, retrace, and then a second impulse. So trading sell signal in this pullback often give you a good trade to enter again and move down. So like I said, you need to be picky with signals if you want to find good tops and bottoms. And if you're swing trading or day trading, this is a beautiful strategy for you to use. 